Hi everyone, this is Donna Marie and I just want to explain to you how to do a muscle test. So this comes from Applied Kinesiology and I just wanted to explain one technique with you today about how you can muscle test and why you'd even want a muscle test anyway. So, originated from chiropractic medicine, this is a technique that's derived from Applied Kinesiology. So, the way it works is that our body responds to positive and negative stimuli. So for example, when your body, when you ask your body, is this product good for me? Your body will respond. It's because it's positive or negative. And if you say this product bad for me, your body will respond in, I'll show you in a bit how your body does respond to that. And it's so subtle, but also can be quite obvious as well at the same time. So, the one the reasons why you'd want a muscle test because the body never lies if you think about it when you go and watch a film and you watch a scary film your body will respond you get scared you get frightened you might cry you might scream and your body tends to sort of get tense and your shoulders come up to your ears and you and you get tense and you just feel a bit like there's quite a lot of resistance there um and you might feel a bit withdrawn so your body tends to sort of sit back and you, and you sit like this and and the body language that is is a result of your body having a response to negative stimuli. And it works the same way with positive stimuli. So if you go and watch a film that's funny and it's making you feel good, you probably feel more open, your shoulders be open, you feel more relaxed. You probably would just notice the next time you go and see a funny film, like how your body language is. And this is the way the body responds to positive and negative stimuli. So I tend to use the pendulum technique because it's the most direct technique. So checking in with resistance, um, our nervous system signals everything to our brain so when we check when we get a pendulum you actually check in with the pendulum to the index finger you have the signals going to the index finger that's actually stimulating the resistance and the movement to the pendulum and down so it's not the occult or not anything weird like that it's actually the muscles responding the nervous system responding and like i say that body never lies so you can use this system and this process for anything to check if a product's good for you to check if a drink's good for you you can do it for yourself you can do it for your children so the one technique that you can use is called the body sway so it's the body pendulum so i'm just going to move back and i'm going to hold this glass of water and then I'm going to ask my body the question. So you make sure your feet are really relaxed on the ground. I'm going to turn to the side. I'm going to hold this water. So is this water good for my body? So I'll move forwards. Okay. And then I am going to use a lighter. Shall I eat this lighter? Shall I eat this lighter? So, oh, that's a big no. <laughs> So the body knows what exactly it needs. So the body never lies. We really should be listening to the wisdom of our body to find out what we need and what is right for us and what we, what we should be consuming. So the body sway is, I find, a very direct, very obvious way and it's one of the easiest techniques to use. You can use it for yeses and nos. So you could ask yourself, your question a question for example my name is and then notice where your body falls to but you want to make sure before you do muscle tests that you're actually coming neutral so you're making yourself neutralized before you even muscle test and we're a couple of ways to do this and then we have two mastoid points so you have the mastoid point on the back of back of the head so you would rub that and the other side so you rub that a couple of times the mastoid points to really neutralize your body so you can rub that for a few times releasing and then you could do the alpha breath so you would breathe in through the nose and as you exhale through the nose you count three 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 and as you inhale through the nose and you exhale through the nose count internally two 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 and then on the last round inhale through the nose and as you exhale internally one one 
one. And you can do this for a few rounds and this will neutralize your energy so you will get a direct response because there's no point having a drink that you, you know, you could pick up a donut for example and really, really want it and when you muscle test, should I have it? Your body's gonna go for a yes because you're already, um, the power of suggestion is really powerful. So you've already programmed that into your body, into your mind, into, into your subconscious. So actually, this is really good for me. This donut is so, so yummy and good. So your body will naturally sway to that decision anyway. So it's really important to neutralize your body first before you even muscle test. So you get a, a direct response and an accurate result as well. So hopefully this video has helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, feel free to comment down below, just below the video. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you really found this video useful, then please subscribe and share it to anyone that you know that would really help. So thank you, this is Don Marie, teaching you just one applied kinesiology technique for testing, for muscle testing, seeing how much resistance you have, a yes or no answer for the question. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.